Hello guys, top of the afternoon, Damien Jones here again for you today. Uh, first of all, I just want to do a quick update on how I'm getting on with my quitting smoking. Because I'm going to just get that out of the way here and now rather than making a video about it. Basically, today marks my second week smoke free. I haven't had a single cigarette, not one. I'm really pleased about that as well. Okay, now moving on. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these these <laughs> if you can see them at this distance uh, I've been doing I'm doing the video today in the kitchen because the lighting upstairs is just absolutely appalling isn't it to be quite honest with you uh, I suppose I'll make a satin here or something at some point but for now we're going to take a look at these <clears throat> today I've got three unopened packets of garbage pale kids which were stickers and chewing gum packs from the 1980s. I remember these when I was quite young. Uh, I didn't know they'd gone up to a 15th series though, but obviously they did. So what I'm going to do today with you is we're going to open these, which haven't been opened ever. These are over 30 years old. This one is all new 5th series. Yeah, let's just have you around here. That's better. To have you around here, lift you up. I don't know the quality of my videos, eh? Okay. It's all good stuff, in it? Right, we've got these. Series 5 um, Garbage Pail Kids sticker set from Tops. And these were very, very popular in the 1980s. From the early 80s, as I remember them, because I had a few. Right up to the late 80s, I didn't even know they carried them on. But then again, these were quite popular, more in the States than over here. So, we're going to, hopefully, I'm going to open these today. You get, let's see, five stickers and a piece of chewing gum. So, this one's dated 1986. Oh, I wonder if this uh, sweatshirt offer's still open after 30 years, or do you think they've run out? Well, there we go. This one's from 1986, and uh, we've got these other two packets. We've got a Series 13 with a different picture on. Some guy throwing his eyeballs out there. And I never knew they did these. Um, a Series 15, a guy with all worms or something coming out of his head. Sounds a little bit shaky in there. Maybe the uh, chewing gum has uh, completely disintegrated over time. These two are dated 1988. If you can see. Right. Also, worth mentioning is... I've been looking at some of these online. You know, loose, that the, uh, the mad collectors are trying to get their hands on. And, and this little character on the front of this packet here is called Adam Bomb. And I've seen that sticker sell for upwards of 80 quid, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. So I've got five stickers in here, five stickers in here, and five stickers in this early one. And hopefully I'll have an Adam Bomb in here, because if I do, I'm in the money. Because I only paid a couple of quid for this little job lot here. So... Shall we do it? Shall we open it and see what we've got? This hasn't been opened in. Well, this has never been opened. Ooh. In quite good condition, I think. Ooh. Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, there's the chewing gum, and it still retains its colour. So we see if it it's actually stuck, welded to the sticker. I hope that's going to come off. Oh, come on. Oops. Uh, bear with me. It's completely stuck. <laughs> it's uh, like dried out on there. Let me pause you. Okay, I've got the chewing gum off, but it's left a bit of a stain. 30-year-old stain. 
Let's see if I can scrape as much of that off as possible. Well, I think it's fair to say the first sticker is ruined, and I don't think it's of any collectible value now. But, here, I've got the fragments of... How long ago was 1986? So about, what, 30... 34 years ago. Well, here we go, I've it in my hand. 34-year-old chewing gum. I'm going to stick this down my cake hole right now, and I'm going to see what it tastes like. Excuse me. Yeah, that was nasty. How can I describe that awful taste of a 34-year-old chewing gum? I don't know. It didn't taste of anything. It tasted like, um, I don't know, it tasted like plaster paste. You know what I mean? It tasted like that. Couldn't taste any of the sugar. I'm assuming that was stro meant to be strawberry flavour because it was pink. I don't know. It could have been something else. Could have discoloured. It could have been red originally. I don't know. But basically that tasted like wallpaper paste. I couldn't even taste any sugar in it. Should I have a look at the cards anyway? <laughs> right. Who have we got? Shattered Shelby. We got Shattered Shelby. Which is very nice. And there's something on the back here as well. Here is what you completed orange border puzzle will look like oh i see right on the back of them they've got this for you to collect the bits off the back or some of the stickers uh i'll show you this one i've got these bits on and it's basically going to be this uh this uh fella here that's well it would be mine's got mouldy chewing gum on it but okay we got shattered shelby i don't know if he's worth anything the only one that i know that's actually worth anything more than a couple of pounds is the adam bomb so i really hope we get an adam bomb in this slot because i'm in the money if we do so shattered shelby lovely jubbly who else did we get Wormy Shermy. <laughs> I have to say, uh, the artwork on these is fantastic. Wormy Shermy. <laughs> Clark Carnes instead of Clark Kent. <laughs> I actually vaguely remember that one. I vaguely remember that one. Tanya Hyde. <laughs> okay. Last but not least. Earl Painting. He basically looks a bit like Boy George, really, doesn't he? <laughs> or Girl George, whatever your perspective is on that. So, that's the Series 1 packet opened. We've got five, five early stickers there to research to see if they're worth anything. Should we try Series 13 now? Put it on pause a minute while I open it. Okay, I've got it open. I just want to show you this. Just want to show you this. Right, we opened it up and we took the cards out and I just want to show you this lovely staining on the inside of the packet. <laughs> Look at that lovely staining. 30 odd year old staining from this uh, rancid chewing gum. <laughs> they have not survived very well. Do you want me to taste a bit? 
this looks like uh, it's got like white mold growing on it I tell you, I'm gonna leave these moldy bits till the end because I've already done one for you uh, I'll save these last two towards the end I think that's if you want me to do that let's see what cards we got in that uh, what is it series 13 Ooh, we got Warty Morty. Uh, what is it? Warty Morty. Very nice. We got <laughs> Gory Lori. It's a nice one, isn't it? <laughs> Shouldn't the skeleton be jumping out of the um? person though not the other way around you can't really unzip your skeleton can you 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 have to, you know your skeleton's inside you i don't know well there it is anyway gory lori what's this one? Oh dear louise trapeze she looks like she's had a rather unfortunate uh, nose piercing there. That looks painful, doesn't it? Louise Trapeze. <laughs> wretched Richard. He looks like he's wretching himself up, really. Wretched Richard. this one <laughs> though I heard a lot of these were very vomit orientated repeating Pete no oh, the boilers off making a noise ruining the video but we'll carry on repeating Pete looks like he's going around and around in a circle throwing himself up you look at the back on some of the jokes as well, there's a lot of uh, vomity type stuff. I'm not going to bother reading the back because we'll be here forever. Otherwise the video will be about an hour long. So I've got about 15 of these uh, sticker card things. So we've got repeating Pete. Now, last but not least, we've got a packet of series 15. I'll put you on hold now and we'll see what um, horrors await within. More nastiness awaited within. Do you want to look? Yeah. Another lovely stain. <laughs> 30 year old stain. Oh man, they are nasty looking, aren't they? This one's got white on. This one isn't quite as bad as the other one, but they've all... They're rock hard. And disintegrating. And we will try them. They probably taste pretty much like the uh, Series 5 ones that we opened first. Right. Who have we got in this last packet? We've got one called... Cat Litter. Very nice. Oh God, I had this one when I was a kid. <laughs> Seen this one for years. Crocodile. A bit like a crocodile Dundee type character. I remember that one. Oh dear me. Polluted Paul. An Egyptian one, Lyle Tile. Ooh, the light just flickered. Lyle Tile. And last but not least, ew. Mal Practice. Looks like they're doing a, an autopsy there, and the Mal is a, 
a bag of organs post-mortem ew well there we have them guys I, I don't know if any of those cards are worth anything if any of those cards are rare but I'm certainly going to research them and if they are they'll be going on eBay individually and I'll be coining it in fingers crossed if not Nah, eh, I'll probably just stick them on the wardrobe or something. <laughs> Bit of nostalgia, isn't it? Right, now's the moment. The moment of truth. Shall we do them both together? Have a lovely chewing gum with white mould on it. And our disintegrated one here. Shall I do it? Yeah, okay. Yes, I am spitting it out. It tastes absolutely vile. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We got to... That's not how I remember the chewing gums tasting, funnily enough. But then again, it has been 34 years. <laughs> That's not how I remember them tasting. I remember them tasting of strawberry and raspberry and nice things. But that's not what they taste like after all this time. I suppose the staining on the inside of the packet was a dead giveaway. I wonder if the packets are worth anything. You know what people are like, they collect anything these days, don't they? Yeah, flatten them out. Research them. Just give you a quick overview of what we've looked at so far. Whee! We've got quite a few there, didn't we? We've got 15. So I'm going to see if uh, any of them are rare, and if they are. They'll be going on eBay, and if they're not, they'll be going on my wardrobe. For now though, my name's Damien Jones. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back again very, very soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe, make my day. You know, you're more the merrier, you're all welcome. And, um, yeah, cheers. Bye now.